Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. This is the multiplayer series with Chainsaw 100 and it's not the right day for it, but it's fine. It's for this week only, because um, yeah, Chainsaw is unavailable on the day we're going to normally do it. Should be back to normal next week though, hopefully. So as you can see, I've just put this front loader on the Massive Focus and Tractor. We have not very much money left, but that's fine. We're both in agreement that this is what should be done, um, because we need to sell the silage. We have got loads to sell. Chainsaw is already very busy getting it sold with JCB, which means I've been left with the tractor. Um, we do indeed have the, uh, it's, it's rented, but we do have the bigger bucket on the front, which also is capable of cutting up sugar beets. So it might be handy in the future. But yeah, what we're trying to do is save up, save up enough money to be able to get the common harvester. And then from there, another field because uh, I think the corn that we, we own a cornfield and I'm hoping oh, it's not quite ready that is unfortunate it's going to have to be sold tomorrow then um, but yeah we're going to harvest the corn and we were hoping to eventually buy 39 which is a sunflower field but that might be harvested before we get the money just depends how well we do today with this um, but yeah I've not sold I don't think I have actually sold any signage at a BGA in FS22, like a BJ that we own. So I'm yet to discover how we, how and when we get the money. A couple of days have passed since the previous episode because there was actually nothing to do. We have been twiddling our thumbs waiting for the corn crop to grow and also for the pit to fully ferment. Uh, the pit did go from zero to 100%. It didn't progressively go up. Um, and it took two months to get to 100%. So. Here we are in October, not that we're playing Seasons, so the month is actually irrelevant. Uh, at least I did turn Seasons off, but the trees, I, I think we need to set, yes we need to set a month, because Seasonal Growth is off, although maybe we don't want to set a month, it just depends. I, I think it would make sense though, because otherwise we could potentially be harvesting when there's no leaves on the trees. Right, so I'll just get my first bucket load. Um, we had, I think, around 230,000 litres, if I'm not mistaken. I wonder if I could actually use... Oh no, I got stuck on the fence. I wonder if I could use the loading wagon. Or it might have to all be scooped up and put over here. But then again, yeah, you could, you could basically pick it up with the loading wagon and then dump it here. Oh, that looks like an unload point though, doesn't it? A few things we'll have to try out. Um, yes, we need to go into here. Yeah, producing energy, digestate, biogas. See, so yeah, it's a new experience because I've never had the money in a game, in this game, <laughs> to be able to uh, own the BGA, which is quite interesting. Just let chainsaw continue. It is full. I think we're gonna have to increase the rate of time, which means the rain is gonna be here pretty soon. Yeah, only enough space for 30,000 litres. So this is quite slow. At least the corn is going to be ready <laughs> at this rate. So in goes mine. Slowly does it. And here's the rain. Hooray. And here's Chainsaw's next load. Um... Yeah, so obviously it's going to be quite a slow process. This will just put the time to 360, because clearly we are feeding it way faster than it can process it. It's going to be a full night, I think. I'll get this thing shifted. Okay, so yeah, I don't know exactly what I'm doing here. I don't think either of us do. Because <laughs> um, we usually just sell the, the product 
the raw product we don't tend to process it as our own BGA um, so yeah I think it's just gonna be easier if we load it up and take it to another cell point because there is actually another cell point which is offering a really good amount of money in fact a very good amount of money I have calculated it and if we were to sell all of it um, with the price of what it is we would make hundred and thirty thousand pounds which to me seems extremely good so I just need to get the loading wagon on the back and hopefully, providing I can make this corner, um, we'll be able to switch on and pick it up. It won't necessarily work, but I hope it will. Yep, it is loading. Lovely. Although, we're going to have to take the bucket off, I think. It's a bit too heavy without the rear weight. Wow, that took loads. We can, I think, also load from the top. I think you probably can drop it in over the top. Um, but... No, this this would seem like the, the best way of doing it, even though I don't think either way is great. It's completely overloading it. But that's 92%. We're almost there. There we go, 100%. Lovely. So is that now heavy enough for me to keep the bucket on? Because then we can take a bit more in the bucket. be nice if I can do. It does seem a bit front heavy still. It's going to mess up the handling. Uh, well, we'll try it for one trip. Oh, the price has just started going down. Um, but yes, let's just see if we can take it to Atchim Livestock Bales. It is called Bales, which is a little bit concerning. Um, yes, we run the risk here of just really messing everything up. <laughs> it's called a bale cell point. Oh, here comes Chainsaw. Gonna have to pass. Slow and steady. Hello, tree. Okay. Lovely place. Just can't guarantee this is going to work. Because that is a bale cell point. Ah, lovely. Good. So we'll keep putting it into there. Um, yeah, I do need to probably research how the BGA works exactly. Uh, I've never had to though, because as I said, uh, we've never actually owned it, and we, I think we probably very rarely will own it. But that is the scenario on this map, we do start off with it. Because the machines that we have are rented, you start off with a load of rented machines. You don't actually own anything, except for the land. But that's good, yes, the money is going up very quickly, very nice. It's going to be very helpful. Um, and I will stick with the bucket. It, it brings an extra 2,000 litres over. Just need to be careful. So, right, this is it. This is going to be the big selling session. We do have to cross a fairly busy road by the look of things. Yep, very busy. Cut across there. And because we are shuttling, both of us, we're going to have to keep passing. But it shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. At least I hope not. Right, it's a little bit stuck there, but I am now free, and this might be my last load, there might be a bit left. The final bit, if it's not too much, can probably be processed here. But there should be another full one for chainsaw. 
think we already have processed quite a bit ourselves, so a fair chunk of it is already dealt with. And I think Chainsaw has a more appropriate tractor for climbing the pit. Because this smaller one certainly gets stuck pretty easily. Although it doesn't help that I've got a massive weight on the front lifting it up. Okay, let's get over to the cell point and make about, I think it's about £15,000 including the contents of the bucket. Okay, here we are. So, with a bit of luck, once we're done here, we'll be able to start harvesting. Um, yeah, there really shouldn't be any reason why we can't get a combine harvester and harvest the corn. I think it would be a bit of a silly idea at this stage to buy the sunflower field, even if there are still sunflowers in it, um, because it's going to leave us with next to no money. And obviously this was our money. So we need to be a bit careful. The silage that we're selling currently is the only source of income at the moment, except for the corn. But the combine is not going to be cheap, so we'll make a profit, but I don't know how much it's going to be. Okay, right. Let's head off, see what's left in the pit. In the first episode, I did mention plowing this field up. Most people said don't, at least to begin with, uh, which I think is probably for the best. We don't actually have big machinery to be able to cultivate it up anyway. It takes quite some time. Eventually though, we are going to be putting another crop into there, but at this stage it makes sense to keep the grass because that is what we can process the most efficiently because we have the equipment already rented. But yeah, it looks like there's actually more than it would appear here. It's kind of annoying though, because we've just got scrapings. So we can scrape from this side. Not very much. I think the rest of it might have to be done with the JCB, unless Chainsaw can get it. But I was just sort of gliding over it. Let's see what Chainsaw can get. It looks like it might be putting most of it into his. Fine. Um, we'll see what's left. Whilst I wait for Chainsaw just to finish with the JCB, we can see that fin number 36 is ready. And it's looking good. It's actually, it is quite a big field. It looks tiny on the minimap, but actually, if you see it in person, although it's quite hard to see in person as it's a very tall crop, yes, it's, it's pretty good. Let's just fly up. It'd be a much easier way of seeing things. So, yeah, there's quite a bit to it. Although, I suppose when you start harvesting it, it will not take very long to harvest. So we're not going to go with a big combine because that will just wipe out any decent profit. Basically the smaller the combine the more money we make. 65% full here. Yeah, you can never get that final base, it always tends to push it. Which is good if you're trying to compact the pit. And we do own the yard, it, it does probably feel at this stage like we don't because we're never there. But yeah, once we actually start to really get into the uh, the combinable crops, the cereal crops, uh, yeah, we'll be spending much more time over there, just because we're dealing with all the grass to begin with. As the map may maker actually intended, we're supposed to start with the BGA, the grass work. That's looking pretty full, and we still have this pile here. 87%. So unusual for me to be able to stand there and watch another machine working because I rarely play multiplayer right so that's Phil Chainsaw's trailer which means that piece there is for me I'm not too sure if he's going to load it or if I'm going to I think probably he's going to I could actually take this I could just take this one because the other one is over there to fill Get it sold before the price goes down any more. But overall, we have done very well for the price. It's. I think the other one was about 500. Can't remember exactly. But this was over 500. So there we go. I think, yeah, I think it was about 130,000, including what we already processed at the farm. 
So that's just a nice bit of extra to put on top of what we've already sold. And then Chainsaw has the final piece with the Matthew Ferguson tractor. Okay, there's Chainsaw. And you'll probably notice everything is much brighter now. I've set the uh, month to July, the fixed month. Uh, so basically the environment remains in summertime, regardless of the actual month. Because we might as well, it's so much brighter and yeah, we're not running seasonal growth, so it just makes sense. But there we have a lovely clean pit. So that has helped us out a great deal. We can now, oh look at the JCB just emptying on its own. Yes, we can now get ready for the harvest. Uh, we'll just see if that other field still has a crop in it. No, it doesn't. So it's been harvested, uh, which was kind of uh, expected. But there are other fields around. Quite expensive fields. Now, we'll just focus on our field for now. And actually, this is the cow's field. It has a good crop of grass in it, so we probably should cut that at some point. Although, we own 35 and 34, which both have lots of grass in. So... What I need to do is go into the Combine Harvester category and figure out what the best one to go... Well, this one is just obvious, isn't it? 75,000, the cheapest by far. And I think it has a corn header designed for it. I oh, know it's the Ziegler, not a roster mash. But that, I would hope, is going to be enough for our little field. Because that should be pretty cheap to rent. Yeah, it's not even a thousand pounds. The harvester itself, probably a couple of thousand. 3,825. So let's get that on the way over to the field. Yes, it's a shame that we can't go for something a bit bigger, but at this stage we do need to be very careful with the money. So yeah, 8,132 pounds in total. I'm sure it won't be too hard to make money on that, but we do need a trailer. Okay. Yeah, if we were buying, if we if we had bought the other field, we couldn't have used this combine because it was much bigger. Oh, don't stop there. Oh, no. <laughs> I've just skidded over your roof. <laughs> you should have just continued. Don't you do it. Oh, you're doing it. You want to go as well, do you? And you've just walked through my wheel. Right, we'll try again. Oh, it's because I didn't have the beacons on. They couldn't see me, I wasn't big enough. Lovely river, lovely bridges, lovely map. It's a nice leisurely drive, certainly a long way, and I'm producing quite a traffic jam. Had this been real life, I would pull over and let them pass, but since it isn't, <laughs> I'm not going to. See how long we can make the traffic jam. Well, it looks like this is as long as it's going to be, because sadly we have to turn off. But that was quite a good collection. Off to get a trailer. It's taken some time to get here. But we have finally arrived, so I need to figure out which is the entrance to the field. Looks like it might just have the one entrance on the left hand side here. Can't say for sure, but I think yeah, I'd be better off going down here. Because I can see a gate right in front of us. The gates, I don't know, would it open outwards or inwards? I'm hoping outwards, but I don't know, it probably does go inwards. Yes, it does. So, I need to be careful of that. Luckily, we have a nice compact header and no header trailer, so we don't have to mess around. Just get into the field and jump out, close the gate for now. And we will continue. Try and get as much of this as possible without missing any. I would normally go the other way around. Look, because of the gate. And 
because we're actually not going to be full very quickly. It doesn't matter for this first lap of the headland. So yeah, I don't know what trailer uh, Chainsaw just bought, but I'd imagine it's going to be a pretty small one, which is fine. Oh, he hasn't bought it yet. I noticed this field is full of weeds. Still, I suppose it's better than having no crop at all. If we were to do this, we would make sure we get rid of the weeds. Um, but yeah, I'll continue uh, as a time lapse until Chainsaw gets back. Very good timing. So Chainsaw is planning for the future there with that trailer. Makes sense though, because we would just get rid of a smaller one. We'd soon outgrow it. Um, actually, I don't think I've used that trailer before, unless it's one which has been repainted. Let's just take a look at it. I know it's £33,000. Very nice. Ah, yes, the Branson. That one used to pop up in the uh, used machinery sales quite often for me, only in the default colour green. This is the Power Tube Plus. It looks pretty good in orange actually. But we've done okay. We've already got a full tank and I've only done that. Not bad at all. Um, although yes, it's slow. Very slow. I think I might try and start just going up and down the field now. Should be able to get away with it. Okay, so there we go. We shall continue. Um, actually, we're going to need a cultivator. It would be good to have a direct drill, actually. It would be probably easier. Um, yeah, I'll just speak to Chainsaw. All sorted. So, we have got... Chainsaw's just bought this uh, power harrow just here. And this seed drill. So, obviously, pretty small. Um, but the direct drill was about £110,000. And we really could not stretch of that, even that was £50,000 but I think at this stage yeah, that's going to be uh, adequate once the money really starts rolling in, we'll be able to go for something bigger, but we, I must actually just point out that we do own the cow farm, with all the sheds already here, and a chicken coop chickens especially we should get started almost straight away and yeah, we should definitely focus on getting some cows pretty soon as well. Right, almost half full again. Let's get this done.
almost there. So just gonna unload it into Chainsaw's trailer. I think it would have just about fit, but it was close. And actually, that trailer is much, much more full than I thought it was gonna be. That is impressive. Okay, so I'm just gonna get things tidied up and then the corn can be sold. Hopefully the corn price is good. Uh, unlikely though, since yeah, we're kind of, well, we're very close to the time of year where, we, where it should be harvested, despite not having seasonal growth enabled. I think the reason why is because we did have seasonal growth enabled, so it sort of coincided uh, with the correct time of year. So Chainsaw has got the drill over there, just been delivered, ready for next time going to get a crop in here straight away next time and uh, well we do have quite a bit of money available so we might be able to get some cows because we've got the, we've got some grass over there because we only need to give them uh, hay to begin with we can get some chickens but there we go that looks quite good so of course this can now be returned. I'm just going to park it over here for now, just in case, because we've still got half an hour of use on it, and uh, it, well, if the engine's not running, there's no fee, unless of course we go to a new day. Oh, British Grain. They currently have a very good price. Now where are they? They're down here. Okay. Good place for it. Now, Chancellor's just said the price is increasing, so it's not worth selling it just yet. Um, now it is. It's actually increasing massively. In fact, I thought that was a good price, but no, 904. We can get up to about 1,500 in just like, two days' time. Uh, so no, that will be sold very soon, which means it'll be staying here for now, until next week. Thank you so much for watching everybody, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Again, Chainsaw 100's video is linked down below, please do check it out. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.